Frank the Tank here. Welcome back to my channel. And then today's episode, we're going to talk about the Magwell for Canon TP9 series. So check it out. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, subscribe right now. And we'll get started. Let's go. everybody's been waiting for is the Canic TP9 series Magwell. The right one is made by Advanced Fire Solution down in Florida and then this one is made by Taylor Freelance down in Washington State. So these two Magwell um, is designed for Canic TP9 series and also is made by aluminum. Ooh. So everybody's been talking about online recently so Let's get started for a really quick review. So I just want to talk like talk briefly. They are all well-made Magwell. I think the two difference uh, of this Magwell, I think this one is slightly larger and this one is slightly smaller. And also this one is a little bit heavier. And this one is um, lighter for sure. And as you can see, uh, Advanced Firearm Solutions Magwell, they are Cerakoted with tungsten gray, they sent it to me. I think they have tungsten black, uh, they have tungsten gray uh, of the color and also the black Cerakoted. So that's the one from Advanced Firearm Solutions. And then from Taylor Freelance, uh, this is a raw aluminum. So the method that he used is anodized. So they're going to have an anodized black, red, I believe they're going to have blue as well. Okay. And then the two different different method, uh, two different magwell. They have two different method as well. So as you can see, I'm going to pull the standard SF frame over here, and also going to take out this elite frame that I borrowed from my friend. So the way this two magwell, the design is for the standard TP9 series, which is all the bigger frame can fit like 18 rounds, like the v2 up to sfl sft okay sfx of course and then this one is the sf elite which is the smaller frame so if you if you look at this that if i put the mag wall over here that will fit perfect right and also this one is going to fit perfect because they designed for this frame but if you're trying to use the elite it won't fit because it's slightly larger on the back as you can see that see I can't even put this in yeah it's a little slightly big right there so if you have an elite and you want to have a magwell I'm really sorry that for now these are not designed for the elite the the magwell the two magwell they use different methods as well they use um, this one the advanced firearm solution they give you another accessory kit for drilling purposes so you have to drill your bottom frame which is I'm going to show you in the future detail review on um, that okay they're really nice they also sent me this uh, instruction just to make sure that I don't mess it up. And of course, on the red line, warning! It is recommended that this installation be performed by Qualified Gunsmith. Of course, of course. Just not to mess it up and blend it. Oh, it's your Magwell's fault, of course. So that's on this Magwell. Um, on this Magwell, the Taylor Freelance one, they use a similar They use a similar method, just like the 3D printed one. So you haven't seen that one with quick review, you can click right here to see the review on the 3D printed one, okay? Um, on this one, it's similar to that. So they basically give you a, a little pin right here. And then this pin, they just confirm that they are going to make the aluminum one. But they sent me this just for the test review purposes. So this is just a 3D printed one but it does the job, okay? So all you need to do is take out the pin and then put this inside, tap it in, okay? I don't wanna put it in, tap it in. And once you tap it in, you're going to install the magwell, 
and you're going to go through the little hole and then screw it up. So they will they will give you a tab and also a Allen wrench just to like screw it tighter. So the way to do it is they put it in. You use the Allen wrench to screw it tighter instead of screwed it in. So that will keep the mag wall stay on your frame. So the difference between these two is this one needs to drill the frame and some people believe that is better. And this one, with, you don't need any modification. You don't have to drill a hole on your frame where some people believe that's better for them. So two option, I gave it to you. It's all great. Okay, this one is slightly heavier, so some people believe that this one can st stable your recoil as well because you have more he heavier part on your back instead of front heavier. So some people believe that, and then you can go for that as well. And this one, it's lighter, smaller, and some people think that will be more compact, it's easier to use. And again, it's personal preference, okay? Um, I want to mention is the the two of the magwell they cannot okay remember they cannot fit the stock magazine for example that is like this 18 rounds so if you want to uh, use the magwell and still use the the stock base pad I will suggest you either you modify your base pad a little bit or you can choose to change out the um, base plate for Taylor Freelance one. I will also put the video over here so you can see what I'm talking about. And these two Magwell, they designed it to fit all the Taylor Freelance base pad. So that's a good thing. So if you already have the base pad for Taylor Freelance, good for you. So I will show you what exactly I'm talking about over here. So. You can see, see, this is the far as I can go. I cannot hurt the click. So it's almost there, but still not fit. Okay. And of course, I'm going to give you a detailed review on these two. And then also the range test, competition test, and talked about what I feel on these two magwell. So stay tuned for more videos to come in the future and also thanks for watching this video and if you like this video click the like button also ask me any questions that you have about the magwell and you can leave the comment i will try to answer you as fast as i can so stay tuned for more videos and i'll see you guys next time Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. And if you want to watch more, click the video on the right.